Welcome to a CyberReason video. In this video, we'll show you how the CyberReason Defense Platform can identify and prevent the recent SolarWinds supply chain attacks using machine learning, static analysis, and threat intelligence, as well as unique behavioral-based detection techniques. On December 13, 2020, SolarWinds issued a security advisory regarding their SolarWinds Orion platform after experiencing a sophisticated supply chain attack. Specifically, the module solarwinds.orion.core.businesslayer.dll, a digitally signed component of the Orion software framework, contains a backdoor that allows communication with third-party servers via HTTP. The backdoor allows attackers to retrieve and execute commands that can transfer or execute files, profile the system, reboot the machine, and disable system services. It also has the ability to disguise network traffic in order to blend in as part of the Orion software. The CyberReason platform can identify specific indicators of compromise, as well as detect and prevent more nuanced behaviors that may evade traditional anti-malware solutions. First, let's see how a machine protected by CyberReason's anti-malware module can identify indicators of compromise and prevent the attacks associated with the SolarWinds Orion code compromise. Here we have the two malicious DLLs involved in the attack. The first is the DLL that contains the malware that was maliciously embedded in the actual SolarWinds Orion software and delivered into victim organizations via the Orion software update process. The second DLL was used as a web shell as part of the attack to grant the attacker remote hands-on access to the victim organization's networks. The original DLL served as the back door to perform different activities. Let's see what happens when that DLL is attempting to load on a machine protected by the CyberReason platform. The moment the DLL attempts to load, CyberReason recognizes the malicious properties of the code and quarantines the malware before it can cause any harm. You get an access denied error and we can see the file was moved out of the original folder and is now quarantined. Now let's try to load the second DLL, which is the web shell. Again, we get an access denied error because the CyberReason platform recognized the DLL as malware and quarantined it like the first one. Let's look at the CyberReason platform and see what an analyst would see if the malware attempted to load. From the Malops management screen, we see two Malops associated with anti-malware detection. This one was triggered by the DLL that's loaded into the host process. CyberReason recognized it as known malware. Selecting this malop takes us to the malop detail screen, where we can view more details. In this case, the DLL was quarantined and the detection name associated with it is Trojan Sunburst A. The second DLL was also identified as known malware, and we can see that the detection used is Trojan Supernova A. The CyberReason team is working to make sure all IOCs from this attack are added to the detection engine to ensure malops are triggered if they are observed in the future. But what if there were no IOCs to leverage in detecting and blocking a novel threat, as we see in this case with the SolarWinds campaign? This is where indicators of compromise and threat intelligence alone fail to protect targeted systems. In this case, the malware was delivered with a legitimate signed digital certificate allowing it to evade signature-based AV detections if no IOCs were available. This is why the next layer of protection offered by the CyberReason Defense Platform is necessary. The CyberReason Defense Platform can block malicious operations based on behavior and a deeper understanding of how attacks evolve. Let's see how the CyberReason Platform uses behavioral analysis to detect and prevent supply chain attacks, such as the SolarWinds attack. From the Malops management screen, we can see indications of the malicious behavior associated with the SolarWinds supply chain attack, including an execution technique via CMD. And while this technique is not directly related or unique to the SolarWinds attack, CyberReason recognizes the behavior as indicative of malicious activity. The Malop details screen shows that the behavior was seen multiple times across multiple machines, giving you a single attack story. From the Process tab, we can click on one of the processes to view the attack tree, a mapping of how the activity was carried out. We see the root cause is the SolarWinds process. It's signed and verified, 
which is how it could proceed beyond typical AV signature-based detection. However, the associated CMD process produced an alert because CyReason recognized it as a rare child process. It knows that the SolarWinds process usually doesn't execute shell processes and is suspicious that it sees this rare activity across the enterprise. The key concept that is unique to CyReason is that we look at chains of behavior across the environment and consider how rare the activity is and how desirable the activity is to an attacker. We can also see the rest of the activity the attacker was conducting. For example, this process called CSRSS. The behavioral detection tells us files called CSRSS are most commonly signed by Microsoft. This one is not. Additionally, based on hash, we can obtain the product name through threat intel sources. This name is not CSRSS, which indicates that the attacker renamed a system utility. Another suspicious process involves PowerShell commands. In the case of the SolarWinds attack, this represents the webshell payload. We also see the potential lateral movement through scheduled tasks. While each individual behavior may not be malicious, CyberReason recognizes the chain of behaviors as being rare and potentially malicious. This capability is what makes the CyberReason defense platform truly future ready. When attackers develop new techniques that evade other security solutions, such as traditional signature AV detections, the CyberReason platform can detect and prevent the most advanced attack techniques, such as those leveraged in these recent supply chain attacks, providing the most comprehensive endpoint prevention, detection, and response on the market.